I did the other quick and um, quick quick uh, owls just to exemplify what uh, could be a good process for AgriCAD and Redshift. So um, uh, first things first in AgriCAD uh, before going to Redshift in AgriCAD when we are building the model what I found out one of the most important things is this blue line here that is the indication of the outside center or inside face. This will tell the alignment of the textures. So this good, uh, this not, because sometimes it will here create here uh, this break, and with this we make sure that the um, texture goes solid all around. So uh, just an example, I make here a small house. Uh, the mesh from inside the property, mesh outside the property, and uh, path walk. Okay, so um, something simple that we could do. Um, what is very important is when this goes to Redshift, all the materials go with it, and you can just replace them. What I mean with it is this. Um, uh, for instance, if we want all these the same material, okay, I have to put this one on the top. I could just have to assign the same materials here. So what I do at big, uh, as in Archicad, I don't use much these materials. I use them because, for instance, uh, we have this concrete. Okay, and let me see, brick natural. We use them because we have the fields, the 2D fields. So when this texture is being used, we can section and have all these fields. But when we go to Redshift, they don't matter. Uh, but what it matters is the placement, because they give the correct placement of these textures. So, um, for instance, this is, uh, they are all standard, so I'm just going to select all walls. And sometimes I do this to help. I can go to surfaces, properties, and just choose one. Normally I start with the white because uh, we don't work in our office much with uh, renders in Archicad. So, um, oh, my materials are missing. Okay, no problem. Paint glossy white. This is the page sync engine, is the Archicad, and this is what goes to Cinema 4D. Um, so this normally it's the materials that will come in Cinema 4D. So um, what we do here, normally I just, uh, okay, I want walls, and I create a new duplicate wall, external, or wall, concrete. But uh, for this, let me do it straightforward. Okay, let me get here concrete. This one. Concrete too. So I give it new. Concrete. Walls. And I give it something so I can differentiate them. Okay. So now I have concrete walls. And I can just go here. And now select and let's go here and concrete walls zero, zero. okay and so now the same here but i just want this side okay i go to concrete walls i made this specifically um, with a slab intersecting the walls because sometimes it can happen the slab uh, there or sometimes you have the wall up uh, but this will create an intersection so you understand more what's going on. So uh, then we have this, okay, and uh, let me see if I'm missing something. Yeah, here it's better always on the roof. Uh, normally I put some stones here on the top and something so I can just to help in Cinema 4D. I just can create one more copy. Let me just one vertical copy. Um, increment. Okay. And let's go inside. I am not uh, exactly. Oops. Uh, okay. Inside. 
inside and this will be 0, 5, 0, 5 okay and this is what height sorry I forgot what height I gave it to it um, uh, sorry for the mess it's not every day that I do this kind of tutorials so let me just get back here okay and okay so I can see what I'm doing this is a new situation that happens a lot it's to F okay F this done um, for instance now the grass here outside one thing I always do in this uh, material grass material it's to turn the um, the grass off and this one so this uh, we just don't bother with it and it will only create a mess for uh, for redshift so basically what we want to have is different materials so now here imagine you don't have any material for here but you have the one in redshift okay we can come again to the materials and just now I can create this new one zero zero uh, wall entrance okay uh, and I'm going to create another one new zero zero sidewalk okay and now what I do it's uh, so this one sure enough walk entrance and this one uh, walk uh, sidewalk okay so now imagine here the property is on the on the mountain you have the vegetation and they are both the same imagine a continuation so again although they are the same I need to separate to work in Archicad so uh, in Redshift so what I do I just give it another for instance another uh, <coughs> another grass brown okay and now I have two, uh, two types of grass and uh, all done the mesh should be nice to be all rich and smooth although yeah so this should be the best option you can of course give it uh, uh, and we have this and normally inside the same kitchen materials all this and these materials we can change them but uh, for instance the bed I have the bed from Archicad but then it will serve as a placement in Redshift so later I can use it for a placement so everything comes from Archicad the less I move the better so here inside uh, imagine I want uh, different floorings then we go to floor uh, sorry I didn't open this with my uh, template this is with um, Archicad normal template so but in my template normally we have a slab layer and you have a finishing slab layer and this is uh, okay for later for the construction elements so we can do um, this is the main bearing slab and now I can do um, where is the new one I created Finishing slab layer, and I always have to put zero zero before. So now, yes, and then I want uh, this part to be wood. Okay, and 
this one here is just okay let's go and this one we want to add ceramics so operator uh, target execute so this one we go then to the ceramics Line, not this. Let's go tile. Uh, ceiling, textile, tiles. Like mass 15. Okay. And here, actually, um, uh, yes, I can go building materials and the wood pine. So now, imagine we have, and now, yeah, our roof custom. Um, we go here, we go to the bottom. And imagine we want something that we want here. I can even put it metal gold. So this would be the standard practice. Very mind I made this really fast. Uh, it is not correct. Many things are not correct, but it serves a purpose. So now for uh, this was the main things because in Cinema 4D you will come this by elements and it will come by materials. So what I do in the photo rendering settings you can come to design uh, uh, white document creative imaging photo rendering settings and here let me go one thing, detailed settings, I can just go back, yes, so we don't export some things. Um, the environment we don't need, and uh, let's just leave it there, uh, grass, this is the first thing I turn off, this grass, we don't need this. Uh, but if you want to fiddle around, just turn off the grass, leave the rest and we come here and export to Cinema 4D. Um, desktop, folder, testing, and uh, entitled, it goes Cinema 4D file. And that's it. Uh, let's go desktop, uh, testing. So here it is, Untitled, let's open. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, uh, bear in mind, I'm in a 2012 computer. It's an old one. And uh, I had to heavily upgrade it so I could work. Ah, you want to optimize the command scene, yes, optimize the mesh, no problem. So you will have the model in Cinema 4D, here it is, and all of this delete, we don't want this light. These lights, placements, delete, and the viewport it's the camera, so you can delete, you can start normal. One thing is if you have a very big project and you start creating create clipping, like you cannot see half of the model, it sometimes happens from Archicad, it comes really big. We have to come to project settings and see the clipping, so you can see it tiny. When we have a big uh, city, then we cannot see and we are, hey, where is the rest? So we have to go to a huge clipping and that's it. That will be the first check if nothing is wrong. So then from the model we have the walls, see? And windows, slabs, and doors, meshes, and objects. Now here the important thing is, um, oh I forgot in Archicad but doesn't matter, let me see. Okay I'm going to do this very fast because it needs to be done. So I have here, okay, so I have here uh, this wall and uh, the inside walls 
I just want to change the inside walls to, 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 to uh, just want a simple <laughs> sorry something that's not uh, paint build okay let's put these walls and okay now we can save this to Archicad sorry for this delay I'm going to close this one ah no actually okay. So we make the change and um, there's one thing used to, to work really well in Redshift, in, Archi ah, in Archicad to Cinema 4D, but now it doesn't work so much anymore. But let's go export Cinema 4D, the changes, entitled, update. Okay, we made this change and we can come for here and file merge project and if we didn't change anything here on the model and like the names and, and it we can come uh, testing and update merge elements yes and then or you create a new project or you update the current geometry materials leave the lights and cameras off and okay and you will update. So in the middle of the process that off meant that uh, the changes you made on the materials assignments here are not changed and the light settings are not changed. They are just added and you delete them back again. So this will make this small update and if we go, let me see mm -hmm. Uh, still getting used to this. Yeah, so it got updated. Uh, this is very handy, and that's why I like. Uh, before we had, uh, we have, we still have interoperability, you know, for the edit selected elements, remove. We could like go to pick up this wall, edit. You will open in Cinema 4D. You could, you could model it and send back to Archicad. It was a wonderful tool that stopped working, I don't know why yeah, so if I come here then yes here sent to Archicad but it stopped working, I cannot understand maybe one day I will <laughs> ask Graphisoft support so now this was the main issues now in, um, uh, in this side there is a few things and in a Mac uh, this Mac, it's a 2012 machine. I have uh, the processors are from 2012, and the only thing it's really upgraded is this uh, graphics for Redshift, and I have an NVMe drive that helps a lot to uh, to save the big files and read from the drive. So uh, in my method, I got this. Um, sometimes these textures from Articad. Let me just go one thing. Let me save. Okay, it's safe and let's start IPR. We have no light, no problem. Probably as a um, um, standard, but what I use, yeah, no light I use in Redshift for ArcVis is this one. I used a lot HDR dome light, but um, it's not the same thing. You can use. Uh, Redshift Sky and and, um, and the Sun they work really well with the materials, really really well. Um, so um, okay, now we have this, and most of the time my computer crashes. So this grass uh, delete because it remains from the rest one, and all these materials are assigned. And what I changed that wall to blue, and what it matters the materials in Archicad to Cinema 4D is this: when you apply them, uh, the walls, for instance, here, what you gave the concrete walls, they are selected, UV mapped, and like the blue, it's UV mapped. So you have already here um, the correct placement of that texture. So, for instance. Um, um, th 
these textures are they are not going to be useful in Redshift. I tried many times to convert them. Uh, materials, tools, convert and replace all materials. Yeah, it works fine. But uh, maybe it's my computer uh, because it's hacked to run Big Sur because it's not supported anymore. This OS 11.6.5 uh, it's not supported in my machine, so probably could be there. So if it crashes in the middle of this uh, explanation, uh, that's a, that's the problem. Um, so here, what I do, it's all these materials. Okay. Um, I start, uh, I created this method myself because of all my problems. Uh, first things first, redshift. I forgot this. And then I create a material override. Now we go redshift, materials, materials, and we have material. <coughs> this custom material, okay, I give it here. So let me just shift I'll click here okay and let's do the render view okay and as I have a very poor machine <laughs> on my redshift here on the passes I go to 64 because I just want to preview what's going on effectively so this is what's going on um, so first material I immediately do because it's the most clear one that I have. I have a good glass material, and let me just keep this here to see. He translated, but this glass it's not the same thing. They come all really, really bad. So let's go my materials, glasses, and this one. I just take this glass. Okay, glass, big glass. So I can immediately change the numbers so I can know what I changed. Now I give 0, 0 a key card and then why I change I give 0, 1. So I know that it's still Archicad texture or it's a new Redshift material. And then we just press Alt and drag it to pass and you will immediately substitute it. So you can... Immediately have well, it's updating. It's, I don't use this one much. Uh, I just got this one. Okay. Um, sorry for these um, delays and so, but it's I'm not very experienced in doing this. <laughs> Oh, let's go to this one, okay, and if I click on the window here, it's assigned this glass, but we have another one here, glass, and this one is wood, pine wood, ah, why is it not appearing here, because my method, uh, when I have these um, problems, then I try to understand what is wrong, so with this I can give the material, and then have these ones every time I create a new one it goes opening there so imagine uh, for the um, for the wall let me just go here concrete uh, okay concrete I'll just Advanced, no, bricks, concrete, every day. Yeah, let's put some bricks. Uh, normally bricks are good. Let's put some bricks here. So I want um, what was concrete to be bricks. This concrete, concrete walls. So I can go here, zero one, bricks. And if I do this, it just okay. Now comes here, and it just gave it that assignment where it was already assigned. Assigned. This is uh, what I believe the good advantage. Of course, now you, for its object, of course, if you want to have all the goodies, you have to add this Redshift object tag. 
because then you can just apply the geometry displacement and let me see if you will not crash <laughs> oh sorry uh, let me take uh, the tessellation ah big problem Archicad has some subdivision so this uh, I will have to give you a tutorial in another place another time because I have here some things to give you first on the material I don't want to overcomplicate this so we'll leave this for another time but this um, redshift tax has to be applied on the objects where you apply the redshift so imagine oh I forgot to do that so I come here to the material select material tags objects and it selects all the objects that the material was applied and you can just come here and uh, do all the necessary settings and you can like okay uh, was these ones and redshift tags redshift object and you have all the ones that are assigned with the redshift object at this moment you can every select do thing you will do here it will do on the four so this was the first thing uh, let me just one thing uh, this process is just to if you have any problems with materials and it helps to sort it out so uh, okay these materials have all to be substituted um, so even this one you can you have to I'm choosing a really bad material. <laughs> so I just wanted to to help you understand something. Mm. You can I never do this. Drag to here. Why? Because when you drag to here, you will create a new tag. So it's better always. Well, okay, I want to to use the sidewalk. And imagine you have many sidewalks. You, when you click on the object. Uh, it highlights the material, so here sidewalk. So I can come again, sidewalk, select material tags objects, and you would select all. And then I can go at this material, and I know that I'm just substituting all the sidewalks. Um, and this can be the same, but then you will have to make a copy and substitute wall canvas. This should be the process and so the same as the wall the doors. Now the doors and objects let's go um, let's go here inside uh, or let's go to the wait let's go here to an object uh, this one has many materials uh, let's just activate here this thing okay for instance all these objects come with all these materials. So, um, okay, just one other thing. And, and, okay. okay now we have the light on. Uh, these are the materials. So, when you select the object, we have the materials. So, you know, if you want to substitute one, they will be black, you can substitute it and you have always the tag selection tag on it you can as well like uh, here if you have another texture you can work on it a kind of um, projection i always leave it even mapping but i still have doubts still today between even mapping in cubic some work really good uv uh, like when you have this uh, when you have a line material that they have to come here and do these lines, UV goes well, Qwik doesn't, but I'm not as good in this uh, as good, I'm still learning. <laughs> Sometimes for me it's still a lottery. But anyway, this should be everything you want to do, it's just substitute the material and then the tags. Uh, other than that, I can like for instance now this um, slab that I give here on top was to add some little stones so I can just come uh, to give it like 
imagine I want to have it a uh, roof with the uh, yeah, green roof like with the grass in Redshift you can as always objects matrix scatter and here it's just a scattered object and you choose this slab so it's a slab 7 okay matrix uh, object slab 7 and you can now um, let me just take this IPR you can see here the scattering of objects and redshift object uh, let me just go here to to grass ah what I told you about the bridge it's really handy that you can do this in now I take a chance to okay you can come I mean epic epic And saves and oh fucking elements. Uh, everything is elements. And I'm colorblind. Great. Uh, invalid. I don't know which one it is. Oh fuck. Okay, later I will check. But you can just yeah export everything from here. Sorry, nothing is going really <laughs> really well here. But I wanted to display here. Okay, let me see. Yeah, grass. I have here this grass. Okay, good. Again, these materials have to be converted, um, and um, for grass, um, let me see, uh, redshift materials tools convert and replace all materials. Okay, uh, this is the big headache. Um, many of them are not convertible. Okay, they are not. And what I do is I rebuild uh, all these materials. I just start a new one, redshift material, and now I want a grass here. So let me just see here if I have here really fast. Here are my uh, textures. Uh, it goes there. Wait. I think these are the graphs. Diffuse uh, and this translucency actually don't need here. I just do it um, sprite. And someone, if someone was watching it easier, you can help me a lot if what I'm doing is correct or not. But this is what I do. Blade, 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 blade. Okay, this goes to surface, shader input, uh, where is the rest? Okay. Uh, here a bug, edit shader graph, why is the rest here? Huh? I miss here things. What happened? Edit shader graph. And this is a bug. I mean, this never happened. And we come here to the sprite from color intensity. Uh, it's a bug here. Back. I don't know what's going on. I have here a big bug, I believe. So, uh, but yeah, matrix, you can just custom objects and, um, and put the grass inside. And then you will have the scatter ability to put... Um, 
me see the beautiful thing that came out here a line clone, take it out there are always these few things and that uh, that make the difference let me push it, 20,000 <laughs> it's too much, but you get the idea you get this scatter um, man, uh, about lightning lighting sorry my English sorry, uh, it's not the best but lightning, lighting it's really simple I just, because at the beginning it doesn't look that it's really good but with the materials it will always change but now I leave everything as it is the only thing it's nice it's on the um, on the sun details softness I always play a little bit with the softness of the shadows so it doesn't come here with these hard edges you can see let me show you one thing here let's see um, um, the objects uh, objects um, Plants, European trees. Uh, some of these are again, they will uh, work well, the materials, others not. So, if I have these three here, okay, you can see uh, the shadow, softness of the shadow. So, if I come sky softness, zero, totally hard, one, small, soft, and this already makes a big difference. Normally I don't uh, uh, break much with the, with the sky, here intensity, before I used to go SanDisk intensity and I didn't move, understand much, but like, yeah, scale would move the shadows too, but uh, Recently I've been trying, don't uh, fiddle much with this. Um, the only thing we have to really to be sure is these materials. We have to substitute them and create them one by one. My recommendation would be just learn really well these materials and then if they are really well applied from uh, Archicad, they will just work wonderfully. You will just assign them here, new material will assign, you just yeah, uh, substitute and you will substitute on the place you, you, it was using. And that's, uh, uh, that's, that's what I can say for the moment. I uh, hope it helps and I'm sorry for this uh, um, miscommunication in the Midlands of the, of the process. Yeah. <laughs>